Moscow Station. This right here, a live view from the control panel found inside of the Soyuz TMA-19M spacecraft. Uh, Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko in the center seat, uh, commanding the vehicle. Uh, however, uh, today's rendezvous and docking uh, should be automated uh, per the nominal or the normal plan. Uh, using the core's automated uh, rendezvous and docking system. Uh, and the uh, small square on the left side of the command panel, you can actually see that's a camera view from the Soyuz craft itself. The International Space Station coming into view uh, just beneath center of the screen. Copy. And the external cameras from the International Space Station getting the Soyuz spacecraft in view now. You can see it uh, here on its approach towards the space station. I've got to mission control, Moscow. Go ahead. We can uh, see the picture. 400 meters. Uh, awaiting transition to fly around. All right. We are in the prox mode and we are starting the fly around. Copy. Fly around. Yeah, so the range is 300, range rate is an audible 75, 0.75, copy, 300 for range and 0.75 for range rate. And Agari, we see that your thrusters are working, are firing and we are moving towards the axis of the docking assembly. And the Soyuz is coming up on 90 meters and closing. Range is 70 meters and range rate, uh, range rate is minus 0 0.34. We copy. Continuing to get great views of the Soyuz craft as it inches its way towards the International Space Station. Under th uh, 30 meters away now from the uh, docking to the Rosviet module. I got the reporting. Range rate is minus zero, 13. And the range is 25 meters, and the crosshairs are aligned once again. Copy. Soyuz continuing to close just about 20 meters away now from docking. The International Space Station and the Soyuz actually just about to pass over the United Kingdom, home to one of the astronauts in, uh, inside that Soyuz craft right now, Tim Peake, uh, the first British astronaut to make the journey to the International Space Station. Mark, the range rate is minus, minus 0.14. Everything's going nominally. Copy. Unintelligible. Transition to manual. We activated the route. 
And send the... And so the Coors Automated Rendezvous uh, moving the Soyuz back. They're going to switch over to uh, what's known as Toru, the manual controls, uh, allowing Malench & Co. to dock the vehicle uh, manually. We confirm that DPO thrusters have stopped, have stopped firing. And we are performing the retrograde maneuver. We copy. So the crew on board the Soyuz working hand in hand with the Russian Mission Control Centers in Koryov. Uh, they discuss their forward plan and options. I got it. Reporting, we see the docking mechanism and we are performing the approach maneuver. Do you see the docking mechanism? Affirmative. And um, how much of the screen does the docking mechanism take? And like what? 0.75. Uh, again, the Soyuz craft uh, moving in manually uh, for docking to the Rosviet module. What is the automated course rendezvous uh, aborting, but uh, manual docking is something these crews train for extensively uh, using the telerobotically operated control panel or the TORU. Uh, Yuri Malenchenko, the commander of the Soyuz, uh, at the controls as they continue to move in less than 30 meters away. Approach burn. All right, we're standing by for contact. Copy, standing by for contact. Contact has been confirmed. Yeah, we confirm. And the visiting vehicle officer here in Houston confirming contact and capture has occurred. So Tim Coper, Yuri Malench and Co. and uh, Timothy Peak now uh, docked to the International Space Station at uh, coming at uh, 11.33 a.m. Central Time, 12.33 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, while the station was flying 252 statute miles uh, over the country of India. And we had contact and capture from the Soyuz side. Thank you.